Hi, and welcome to the Rotrex video tutorials. I'm Ben. Today, I'm going to show you our new and improved priming procedure. Our new procedure does include some new components. We've updated the canister design, and we've added this primer bulb. Now, you can also use the old canister, but you do need this new primer bulb for this system to work. We've got a separate video going into details on the new canister update and the primer bulb. So to complete this priming procedure, of course we're going to have our supercharger installed in the vehicle with the lubrication circuit. We're going to use the setup and maintenance as a reference for this whole procedure. And we're going to use some SX150 traction fluid, of course. And to keep everything nice and clean, we've also got these one-time use funnels. The big difference in our new priming procedure is that we can have everything tightened up. No more loose banjos, no more pressurized air, on the canister, we're just simply going to use the primer bulb. Okay, so step one, which isn't really part of the priming procedure, is that we're going to check our lubrication system and that everything is connected in the right order. Starting at the canister, we're going to go from the feed port at the bottom all the way up to the supercharger inlet port. And on this line, we're going to have the filter and the primer bulb. Now, it doesn't matter if the filter is first or if the primer bulb is first. What does matter is that the small arrow indicating flow is going in the right direction from the canister to the supercharger. Then, from the supercharger outlet port, we're going to go into our cooler and from the cooler back into the canister, which is labeled return. So now that we're sure that everything is connected correctly, we can go ahead and add the SX150 traction fluid to the canister. Now, in order to know how much we need to put in, we've got a handy calculator on our website. For this system, we're using a C15, a 10 row oil cooler, and we have 175 centimeters of hose. So the calculator tells us that we need 558 milliliters of traction fluid, and we can use the indicator on the back of the bottle to know when we've reached that. With the canister full of traction fluid, we're going to start pumping on the primer bulb. You'll notice that it'll go from soft to relatively firm to very firm. Once it's very firm, you're going to give it one last squeeze and you're done. Typically, seven to 10 squeezes is enough. Okay, now that we've pumped the primer bulb, we're going to add some more SX150 traction fluid and then we're actually ready to start the engine. With the engine running, the oil pump inside the supercharger is going to circulate the oil in the lubrication system. And we're going to be ready, topping up with oil until we reach the prescribed amount that we found using the calculator. One of the main features of the new canister is this sight glass on top. After 20 to 50 seconds, it's going to turn blue, indicating that there's flow in the system. If it doesn't turn blue after about 50 seconds, shut off the engine and go back to step one. Last step is to check the oil level. With the engine idling, we're going to thread in the cap completely and check the oil level. It should be, of course, between the minimum and maximum markings. Just like that, you're done priming. Now you can go enjoy your supercharged vehicle. Don't forget to change your oil every 80,000 K, 50,000 miles, or every two years, whichever comes first.